Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I just wanted to pick up the camera. I finally felt like picking up the camera. It's been quite a while since I've filmed anything. I think I've missed like two weeks of uploading and I haven't put much on my Instagram either, which is, yeah. I just haven't been feeling myself and I think lockdown has just been getting to me. Um, I've just been going on lots of walks with Flory and um, I've been redecorating quite a few rooms in the house which has been nice because it's just sort of you can see the results of something um, if you put a few days of hard work in and then it's just like ta da <laughs> but yeah the first thing I actually need to do this morning is write in my CBT diary I started doing CBT um, maybe just before lockdown happened I managed to get on to um, they do like group courses to start with which was a bit weird um, and I didn't really enjoy that because you had to go and sit in a room full of like up to 50 people and have the session but it was alright uh, but then that got cancelled um, for the last two we were meant to have four sessions but the last two got cancelled so I was trying to teach myself them because they sent out the handouts. And now I've been referred to one-to-one -to -one, um, sessions over the phone during lockdown. Um, I think these would have been face-to-face -face if it weren't for lockdown um, but they're just like half an hour sessions every two weeks I think at the moment. Um, yeah they're pretty spaced out um, but she just told me I have to keep a diary of literally every single thing I do and how I feel at that point um, so I keep forgetting to do that <laughs> so yeah I really need to do that this morning and then I have a mango order that arrived yesterday and I thought why not go through it with you guys um, and then after that I'll probably have some lunch and I have um, some fabric sitting over there that's ready to be cut out in a pattern I'm going to show you guys one of the pieces from my summer collection which is probably my favorite piece I think oh I don't know but I'm gonna make a few more of them it's a little um, top and short set and I just think it's so cute I'm so bad at doing daily tasks like adding what I did in the day to a diary all done I went to a garden center yesterday with mum and um, Number one, I've missed retail therapy so much. It's just not the same going shopping. You just kind of have to go in and get what you need and go, um, which is not how I like to shop. <laughs> but I did get a new plant, which I'm very excited about. It's in a pot that doesn't quite fit because I didn't buy a new pot. Um, so I'm sort of on the lookout for a new pot for it, but um, not that fussed. Such a mess on this table. I really need to tidy it up. But this is my new plant. Ooh, she pretty. So this is my big mango order. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and see what everything looks like. There are actually loads of really nice bags on mango, which was the first thing that sort of tempted me um, into the clutches of mango. And then I also found their swimwear section, which looks really good. Um, so I have high hopes. Well, there's somewhere. This is the first bag I looked at. Um, doesn't have a price on these. I think they're all quite reasonable, to be honest. Um, okay, so there's a decent amount of size inside. It's like a fake croc effect bag. One thing I never want a bag to do is fall off my shoulder. And I feel like some of these little ones um, the strap's not very flexible so they kind of fall off my arm straight away. This is a different shape. I think this is like a copy of Prada um, with the little bit here. <laughs> and then I also picked up this black one to see what this was like. This is definitely a copy of the Prada one. Um, I don't know if I'm okay with the like nylon fabric. There's so much space inside this one which makes me excited. <laughs> and it does fit really nicely under my arm. I don't know when I'd wear a black bag like this though. Two denim pieces because 
I'm obsessed with denim. I'm hoping that this one fits and looks nice and that I don't look like a 10 year old in this. Um, but it's a pinafore style dress. On the model it looked really like sort of elegant for a pinafore dress. Next one is, is this a dress or is it? Uh, this is shorts um, and it's like an all-in-one dealio. I actually don't know what this is. Uh, this was a short dress that I thought was really sweet. Um, but now it's here. <laughs> the neckline's quite low, so I'm not sure if this is going to be that flattering. And it's kind of see-through. But anyway, I'll try it on. It's just a little black dress um, with sort of slightly ruffled sleeves at the top and at the hem. This was in a sale, I think. This is just a little jumper with a bow that ties around the back and it's got like an open back to it. So it's like that at the front and then the back has this bow. I picked up this super long dress which for some reason I got in a medium. I think they must have been out of stock in the small. And this was quite expensive, I think it, oh. Oh, it's sustainable. <laughs> um, but this is super long. Oh, it's got a slip underneath, yay. I just thought this was quite an amazing dress. It's got ruffles all the way down the front and like a gathered, tiered hem. So there's actually so much to this dress, which makes the price quite understandable. But the only downside is that it's just pretty yellow. And then I think this was also on the sale. This is a blazer, but I bought it in a size extra large to see what it would be like. Um, see if it would give that sort of oversized effect. Um, so I'm gonna tr I'll try it on now, see what it looks like. So the fit, the fit's really nice actually. It's only slightly oversized looking, to be honest. I'm not sure if blazers are really my style. They just feel so smart. And I'm like, mm -hmm. this is a little jumper. <gasps> I think I'm going to like this one. Oh, it looks like it's got nipples. <laughs> but this is just a really pretty pink blush jumper with puffed sleeves and a little tight um, cuff. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to really love this. Then I picked up a few bikinis and I have no idea if these are going to fit properly or anything but the first one is this gingham number which looks like this and then it's the ties can tie at the top or you can take them round to the side. Then the bottoms tie up at the sides like this, they look like they'd be quite flattering. Then picked up this pink set which I just thought it was quite fun and bright. And then the bottoms for that one look like this. Then the final bit of swimwear I picked up was this white all-in-one. And I just, I'm such a sucker for an all-in-one. But I just thought it was really simple and classic looking. And it's in like a really fine rib. This light is much better at showing how yellow this dress is, but how cool is this dress? So amazing. Yeah, I'll link everything I try on down below if you guys are interested. I haven't even put this one on properly because I just know it is not looking cute at the back. So this one is definitely a no. I also don't like this pinafore dress. I don't know what it is about pinafore dresses. I just feel like I look like a five-year-old. And so I think this one is also a no. Not wearing the right bra for this top, but I really like this. I love the sleeves. They're so pretty. This jumper's quite smart. Like I really like the back bit with the bow. And the low back's actually not that low. I thought it was going to be really low. Um, but it's not too bad. But I mean, I couldn't really wear a coat with it, with this tie being there. So this is a little gingham bikini. Quite nice, it fits pretty well to be honest. And it feels pretty secure. So yeah, for a bikini, it's not bad. So I just tried the swimwear on. This is maybe, this this pink one is just really like quite 
lightweight fabric so I just don't feel <laughs> that secure in it. And then the white one was just a little bit too see-through, like you could see pretty much everything. <laughs> so I won't be keeping that one. I just found another swimsuit at the bottom. This was actually one of the first things I put in my basket because I was so excited about it. Not 100% on the colour. I don't really know if this sort of brick colour goes with me, but we shall see. I quite like this one. It's much more of a bra style, which is kind of what I was trying to find. It's got really pretty details on the straps. I'm really surprised by the colour though. I thought this wouldn't suit me at all, but I actually really like it. I think it works quite well with red hair. Maybe makes it look a little bit more brown, if anything, but um, yeah, quite like it. So out of everything, I actually think this is all I'm going to keep, which is the little blue bag. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that because I wear a lot of blue, so it will go with most of my outfits. And then this little pink jumper with the puff sleeves. I'm going to go and have some lunch and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to make this afternoon. So this is what I'm going to make more of today. It's a little blouse with puff sleeves and sort of like gathered sleeve sections. Um, so there's quite a lot going on in this blouse. It's also got a little ruffle neckline with a tie at the back. And then these are the little shorts that go with it. I might try it on for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. These shorts are the ones I'm gonna keep because um, I need to add a lining to the ones I make today because they're a little bit see-through. I love how they turned out. I think they're so cute. And I'm gonna put the top on and show you what they look like as a set. So this is what the set looks like together. I just think it's really sweet. Um, I love matching sets of things and the blouse is super comfy. So this is one of the pieces in the summer collection. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be launching all of these just yet, but if you turn on my notifications for my Instagram and my design Instagram, then you guys will know when these are all out. So yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon, is just to get on and make a few more of these tops and a few more pairs of shorts. Um, I also have this blouse in a gingham fabric, so those have already been made and I've made shorts from size 8 to 14, um, so like 8, a size 10, a size 12 and a size 14 in those shorts, so hopefully the sizes will be a bit more inclusive this time in this collection. So yeah, let's get to sewing. So I've just hung the blouse up there for now, um, just so I can refer back to it when I'm sewing. I thought I would show you the pattern pieces that I have for the blouse. So these are the front and back pieces. Um, this is cut on the fold, both of these. I am lazy and I don't double over my pattern. <laughs> I just cut it on the fold, which is not the proper way of doing things. And then it's got these front and back panels. This is the back. Um, it gets gathered up at the top and then the front also gathered in like that. And this is one that I made without the sleeves. Um, so this is also going in the collection. Um, and then I just put the ruffle trim around the neckline. I've already stitched together quite a long length of ruffle so I can get on and sew the blouses today. So this is my sleeve pattern. These are all done in the floral fabric. And then these two are done in like just a plain cotton because they won't be seen on the outside, so you might as well save your fabric. So these basically hold the shape of the sleeve underneath, and then this gets gathered in to fit on top of that, and this one does exactly the same, but it's also a bit longer, so it puffs over. And then I have the fabric over here, ready to cut out. Um, it's just really beautiful little ditzy floral fabric. So yeah, I'm gonna get on and cut out two sets of long sleeve blouses.
they are now all cut out. It takes me so long to cut out pattern pieces, I don't know why. It's quite an important step, you have to make sure you get it as accurate as you can and make sure the grains are all going the right way. So yeah, I'm going to take a little break and then get on and start sewing. I made some millionaire shortbread the other day and I've perfected the recipe of it now. I used the Tanya Burr um, recipe and it just had too much of the caramel stuff in the middle for my liking and way too much chocolate. So I kind of edited it and now it's perfect. So I'm gonna have some of that. We're back and I have a Flory who's enjoying her chew. <laughs> There goes the bottom. But I'm just about to sew the straps. I've just folded them in half and I'm going to use the same method I used um, when making my masks. So if you want to know how to make the straps, then that is in that video. And I've been watching so much New Girl recently. Um, it's just been really good to have on in the background because I watched it all when it came out ages ago. I can't even remember when it was that it came out, but I have very fond memories. Of watching new girls, so I've got that on in the background. Do you have had a glass of red wine? Red wine makes you. So this is how much I got done yesterday. I did two of the front, um, well, the bodice section. So I just have the sleeves to do today, which <laughs> I say I just have the sleeves to do, but the sleeves actually take so long. So this is what I'm going for with the sleeve. Um, and that's what I'll be doing today to finish it off. And then I just have to hem around the bottom and the arms and then that is done. And I've got Flory again with her chew. He ho oh. yum yum. Okay, we've now got two blouses that just need hemming and then they're done. It's nearly five now and I'm gonna go and have a little break and then come back to this and quickly finish them off and then do the task of finding all the loose threads and cutting those out. And then I just need to sew the label in both of them and then I'm done. Anybody have any questions? Okay, I've run out of hangers, but I have two more blouses finished. Hooray! Next, I need to make some more of the shorts to go with the blouses, but I think I'm going to leave it here for this video because it's probably gone on for a while. So yeah, I can't wait to share the rest of this summer collection with you guys. Not sure when it's going out. I still have um, a few more things, maybe one or two more things I want to make to add into it. Um, and then I will shoot it and get it out for you guys. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.